Well, hello and welcome. My name is Meredith Burkich. I am the Global Senior Vice President of Sales here at LifeWave. Uh, so excited uh, to be with you today in celebration of Women's History Month. Uh, it's a tremendous time for us as a nation, as a people to really just, just take a moment and, and think about in our lives, all of the great matriarchs and women who have, who have, uh, you know, added value to us, to the communities that they serve, and really their place in history and all of the changes and progress that's been made by sacrifice, by love, and by commitment to the greater good. Um, I've been in direct selling my entire career. I started out as a field leader, uh, just just wanting to look for a few extra hundred dollars a month to 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 uh, spend on little luxury items like going out to dinner and, and having some fun. And I uh, grew a very successful direct selling business. And in the ten years that I was in the field, I grew such an appreciation uh, for what we do and for the lives that we change uh, that I decided after a decade to move over to the corporate side and uh, serve even larger audiences of people and beautiful change agents. Uh, and I've been in here my entire career in direct selling and have, have been with such amazing companies, amazing people, amazing leaders. And I am so committed to what we do because I genuinely believe that there's no way to serve this world uh, that we live in better than just that one-on-one -on -one conversation and that one-on-one -on -one value add that we give to people as human beings when we connect and when we share and when we love. Um, and so I, I had the opportunity to be introduced to, to the LifeWave movement a number of years ago, uh, completely fascinated with the products uh, and the stories that were coming out of the patches, so tremendous. And of course, that's one of the great great values that we add in direct selling is to offer something unique uh, that is not out there, something that tells a story and something that produces change in the lives of people. And so I've been a fan of LifeWay for many, many years. And when the opportunity came to come and be a part of this great movement, uh, I just jumped at it. Uh, you know, it has to do with being at the right time in the right place in history and direct selling with a sustainable business model, with products that that really, truly make a difference with, with technology and innovation that's ongoing so that we can inspire people to live the best version of themselves. So thrilled to be with you today, thrilled to be representing uh, this, this incredible movement and even more excited uh, to have the opportunity to introduce you to, if you haven't met already, but certainly or get to know better, some of the women here at LifeWave that are making a huge difference. Um, and, and we know that in direct selling, um, you know, even here at at LifeWave, we see that predominantly women are leaders here. Uh, you know, we had we pulled a couple of interesting stats I thought I'd share before we get started. Uh, but directors, 66% are women here at LifeWave, senior directors, 70%, executive directors, 63%, and presidential directors and senior pre uh, presidential directors make up more than 50% of the leadership base. And so, um, you know, that, that really leads us to look at wanting to connect with these women leaders and say, what are they doing? What is happening uh, that, that these groups are just growing in such amazing, sustainable ways? And so I'd like to introduce you to our panelists here today and uh, just give a few minutes for each of them to tell a little bit about themselves. And then we're going to really dive into what they think it is uh, that they have done and what they have seen in their experience and, and really tidbits for you to take away on how you can live the best version of yourself. But let's start out with Robin Blanc Mascari. Robin, let's hear a little bit from you today. Well, first, Meredith, welcome to LifeWave. We're so happy that you're here. We've Thank been you. waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I come from a background of uh, corporate training in personal and leadership development. And people would show up at seminars because they were told to be there. And at the end of the seminar, they'd say, I wish it would have been more open because this is good stuff. And in our profession, you know, 20 plus years full time in network marketing, I wish I would have found it sooner. People show up because they want to grow. And that is my love and my passion. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Excellent. Thank you, Robin. All right. And our next senior presidential director, Nikki Chan. Nikki. Thank you. Thank you, Meredith. And welcome. Welcome to Life Wave. Um, well, I didn't come with any kind of direct sales experience. Um, love the company. For me, I'm single mom. 
I have a daughter who's uh, 29 years old, and she's a nurse. So I am proud to say that I qualify for senior discounts. And, you know, with my work, um, I have to give all the credits to LifeWave. Um, absolutely adores the products, and uh, LifeWave just give me the health and the beauties that I, I always dream of. Glorious. Thank you. Thank you. April Vaughn. Thank you, Meredith. We're thrilled to have you on board. We've been looking for you and looking for the perfect person to fill this spot to lead and guide us. Um, my name is April Vaughn, and I've been with LifeWave. May will be two years, so almost two years in this amazing business. I have two children. I'm a widow. Um, my children are 21, 24, and LifeWave came into my life like a LifeWave, truly. To almost two years ago when I was very, very sick and it's restored my health to just amazing and my children as well. And so this is, um, Life Wave has changed our lives completely and we just were so grateful for it. We love David Smith for his passion and, you know, what he's created for all of us to share in. Excellent. Thank you. So good of you to join us today. And Renita Brannon. Hi, Meredith. I'm so happy you're here and I'm so honored to be with these awesome, amazing women and sharing their stories just gets me fired up. Uh, we've been part of LifeWave for about nine months and I got started actually because a friend of mine shared some patches and uh, we started putting them on my mom and we saw dramatic improvement in on the 11th day, actually. Um, and that same day, I patched my 80-year-old father. And we saw he, my dad was a one-patch miracle. And so with that being said, we didn't, uh, we didn't want to do the business. We weren't really looking at all. We're very busy. We have three sons, my husband and I. They're 23. My oldest is 23 today, actually. Uh, 16 and 14. We're a very active family. I've been in health for 25 years, a health and nutrition coach. Used to be the NBC health and fitness expert, so I had my own show on TV up here. Love encouraging and um, inspiring people to take control of their health. So when I saw what happened with my 76 and 80-year-old parents, I thought, holy cow, this is going to be a huge opportunity for so many people that are praying to get well and feel better and improve their quality of health. And so we jumped in, and it has been nothing but a joy ride, literally a joy ride. We wake up to a miracle inbox every day, so we're just blessed to be here, Meredith. Nice. Wow. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. And, and, and thank you also to, to the people listening in, you know, other members of the community. Uh, we're grateful that you're committing this time to, to listen and to learn and to be inspired. And, and when we think about inspiration, the people of our lives, you know, these lovely women, um, you know, we think about the passion that drives them because really it is that passion that's a tr and it's a tractor. You know, it just draws people in and draws people near. And, and this collection of uh, individuals, obviously, no no exception. But so let's with you, Robin, let's let's talk for a moment about passion uh, and the passion that drives you and why it's important. I love that question. Um, you know, people come to this business for either the product, the company, the opportunity. Um, my love and passion and what drives me is this business model is a safe place to grow people. And, um, you know, I was doing that in the corporate world. It was my background. It was the majority of my professional background. When I found network marketing, I fell in love because it is, you know, my husband and I like to call it a greenhouse. It's a safe place for people to grow. And I just love witnessing, participating, mentoring, supporting, coaching uh, people to grow into their potential. And it doesn't, it's not about how much money they're making. It's, you know, I get so inspired, especially for the people that have never done anything like this before. They're, they're afraid to pick up the phone. They're afraid to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a stranger. And to watch them transform brings me the greatest of joy is it is to watch people blossoming into their potential so that's my love that's my passion and that's why I love this profession and uh, like I said I wish I would have found it sooner because those people in the corporate world they they were told to be there people here want to be here and uh, I love the quote from uh, I think I believe it's Jim Rohn and he says work twice as hard on yourself as you do on your business, because you are your business. And we are all entrepreneurs, and it has a direct impact on people. So that is my love and my passion. Awesome. And you know, and you mentioned something there, Robin, that I think, uh, you know, about the corporate world and really what's what's lacking and what's missing uh, and, and how people coming to this 
profession to this sector can learn so much about really kind of expanding their horizons. And Nikki, uh, you know, you you came from corporate, you know, you came from, uh, you know, the what we call the outside world. You, you didn't even come in with direct selling experience when you were, you know, brought into to LifeWave. So, so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, you know, what do you think that, how does that uh, approach of coming in, no, no direct selling experience, and yet here you are, you know, really a very, very successful entrepreneur. Yes, after 11 years um, involved with this company, I love every minute of it. Um, I didn't have any experience, but it's the, it's the technology, it's the patch uh, that draws my attention. It is the faith that I have. It is the belief um, of the product, of the product can do, and the belief of the company of David Schmidt that, that left, you know, that, that is why I'm here today. Um, is is the, the technology is just so amazing. Um, the faith, you know, sometimes I, I, you know, deep down in my heart, I know that this product is amazing. And without the skills, I didn't know what to do. You know, right now it's amazing. The company has grown so much that we have all the, all the tools, um, the, the marketings of the flyers, all the information is uh, 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 available. But when I first joined, there wasn't anything. So for me to stay with the company for this long is really the product itself and the faith that I have in the company. And of course, over the past 11 years, so many accidents that happens with, with, with myself and my families uh, to where there's uh, uh, accidents where you, you don't think that the, the persons can live. You know, I have accidents where my whole face was all messed up and I was injured all over. But the technologies, it works so well that give me the belief level and tells me that this is the path, this is the directions that I need to be with. This is something that I cannot walk away. And then the, the technologies that I have on my hand that I can help people. So I can do, um, I can share these technologies with people um, that I wouldn't be able to as a real estate agent. You know, I always, you know, being a Chinese, our parents always dream that the kids become a doctors and that's all Chinese parents dreams. And I, I have no knowledge in the medical fields, but with this little patch, I can help people. And that is, that is important to me. And I wouldn't do anything else besides LiveWave. And by the way, I walk away from real estate uh, to be full times with LiveWave. A lot of people ask me, why, how do you do that? Why you walk away from real estate uh, being a broker yourself? And I said, oh, I'm going to stick with what I love to do and helping people. Nice, nice. Well, and, and you know, it's it's interesting because one of the things that, that we hear constantly, uh, you know, about what makes a successful direct selling company in particular is having a product that people would purchase and use if there was no compensation attached to it. Uh, and and Renita, uh, I know that you are a product advocate um and so and and also you know really and for you your integrity and your background and all the people that look to you for guidance about their health i know that products uh, must be one of the major reasons if not the reason that you were attracted uh, to to lifewave in the first place yeah absolutely i mean you know we have a world changing technology right like with this patch and so nobody else in the world can duplicate what we have and so just that right there, I mean, it's a standalone product that can help everybody, young, old. I mean, every make and model and shape and size, every demographic can be blessed by this patch. And so, yeah, being in health and fitness for 25 years, you know, there is a lot of products that come and go. And what I think is so interesting about LifeWave is that the very first patch that David Schmidt created, the energy enhancer, is still available in our back office. Like that says it all right there. I mean, that patch has been there for 18 years, essentially, right? And so when you think about the staying power, what we have, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I mean, these, these products are life-changing, life-saving for some. And, um, and I know that, you know, I always want to preface it with the patch doesn't heal anybody, God heals us, but it's incredible what the patch does just to kind of remove the energetic blocks. I'm just such a believer in energy and that all of us emit an energy. And um, and this just frees up our energy to have a lot more joy. You know, when David Schmidt said, I remember at the, the convention, Scott and I were like in the front row and he said, my goal is to help 1 billion homes, you know, to be this patch, to be in 1 billion homes. Scott and I were like, 
we're in, like we can be part of this goal. I mean, my goal as a health and nutrition coach has always been to impact a million lives. So a billion, I'm going to hitch on to David's goal because that's even bigger yet. But when he said that, I really thought to myself, this thing is so big. And, and we're just really getting started when you think about it. I mean, cool. you know, I got to give it to you, Nikki. You've been here for a long time. And they, you are like, you were like the the what, reason why we're celebrating women this month. Women like you, because you've gone before us and you've set the st stage and stayed the course and continue to develop and grow yourself and your team. So, yeah, products matter. And we have the best product in the marketplace with zero competition. I, I'm going to be 46 this year. And I said to Scott, you know what? At 46, I'm not competing anymore. You know, in a lot of network marketing companies, they're talking about their products and what makes a different, better, different. Like with this particular product, like we don't compete. Either you want to improve your quality of life and activate your stem cells or you don't. <laughs> so it just it makes life such a joy um, for everybody that we get to communicate with. I mean, it really is. This is a joy business for us. We love it. Oh, so, so well said. So well said. And we think about proven too. I mean, that's what I've seen, you know, year after year here, you know, the science, you know, behind these products, the science that's put into it, the, the patents, the patents pending, uh, you know, everything, everything that's in here is lining it up. So even yeah. if there are pop-ups that say, we have that, it's like, do you really, <laughs> do, do you know, do you really, do you have this proven track record behind you, um, you know, or just, are you just kind of a, a wannabe, you know, I, I want, I want to be on the stage, but, but have you done the work? Have you really done the work? Have you had the dedication? Have you done the sacrificial actions that it takes to really be a proven uh, leader in the marketplace, a true innovator? And, and Robin, you know, coming back to you and talking about leadership, because, you know, this is a group of amazing winners, uh, you know, here, just amazing performers um, and, and dedicated to team. Um, you know, I know you love leadership excellence. And so uh, this is something as, as the listeners are, are on with us today, uh, you know, what would you like to really share about the importance of leadership excellence? Because that's just another component about the LifeWave community that's unique. One of my great passions also, <laughs> you know, I studied leadership extensively. And one of my favorite definitions is when you are in the presence of the leader, you feel better about yourself. And leaders are really people that grow people. They're the ones that hold a vision that's bigger than people can hold for themselves and help them grow into it. You know, whether it's coaching or mentoring, uh, and a lot of people don't know the the origin of the word coach, which I always love to share because that's our job in this business. And the origin of the word coach comes from 16th century England, where we had stage coaches. And a stage coach was to convey a valued person from where they are to where they want to be. So our job as a leader is to actually find out where do they want to go? When I started, I started as a customer. I had no intention of building a business at all. That was um, four and a half years ago. And one thing led to another and I had amazing results and I couldn't not share. So now we have a large organization. But, you know, when people start, where they start and where they go can change. And so being consistent and staying in touch with people and finding out where do they want to go, what's important for them. You know, this is a business where we have an opportunity to design our life based on our values, to create a dream lifestyle. And a leader should model what they want to support. And so we want people to, you know, in this business, it's a different than conventional business. And, and, you know, we're going to talk about that in a little bit, I think, but in network marketing, we're, we're not about being the expert. We're about creating simple systems to help people duplicate because success comes from simplicity and duplication. And we have Lots of people that want to be creative and share all the patches and whatever, but simplicity and duplication is, was, is going to create success. So if we can create a track to run on for our people, some simple systems and tools and ways for people to tap in, not be the expert, not share what they know, but point to tools, we can really help them be successful beyond their wildest dreams. And so leaders, you know, I had this vivid memory of being with Stephen Covey, which I was blessed to work 
work with Stephen, and I always felt better about myself in his presence. I mean, it's just what he exuded. And, and so a great leader is going to help people grow places that they haven't been before, stretch beyond their current comfort zone, not too far, but far enough that they're going to continue to live more fully of who they are. And that's truly what I think a good leader is. Nice. And, and here we are in, in Women's History Month, you know, Women Leaders in History and, uh, you know, what a great time to really look look within our leadership capabilities. And, and you know, there's so much talk out there right now about the influencer movements and, and whatnot. But we're all influencers, aren't we? You know, whether, whether we're influencing a, a, you know, in our homes and in our families and loved ones, or whether we're influencing a community or schools, or like we have the opportunity here to do at LifeWave. And so, so Nikki, uh, you know. It, one more thing, you know, for people to grow, they need to feel safe. They need to feel safe to make mistakes, to do things that they've never done before. So our job as leaders is to create that safe place for people to realize that there's no mistakes and we make up in numbers what we lack in skill and we keep cheering people on. So it's really important for a leader to create an environment where people know that they can mess up what it doesn't matter it's 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 going to be part of the learning process that you know we really support people continue to learn and grow very well said april you know i, I want to just just spend a few minutes with you um because i think that your 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 introduction is is so unique and so you know so special in the fact that you weren't you weren't even looking you know just when we think about the magnitude that we have to connect with people and and really make a change you know you weren't looking you weren't seeking uh you know you weren't investigating um yet and yet something happened really kind of a miraculous event uh, in your life that brought you to lifewave and i think because of that i'd like you to spend a few minutes about really talking about the importance of that human connection and how that led you to LifeWave and how you feel about women in leadership and why we are so strong in relationship building. Okay, thank you so much, Meredith. Well, you know, I came to LifeWave because at the time I was I was sick and my phone rang and it was a friend of mine that I was helping with her health issues and she called to tell me about the patch. And um, I met her a few minutes later and she laid three of the different patches in my hand. And I came home and I got on my computer. I got on YouTube and I started researching. I just went straight to YouTube. I didn't have any information. I didn't have a tool. I didn't have a patch summary sheet, anything about the patches. So I just went straight to YouTube and I started, um, I just, I took the patch. I looked on the backside of the patch and it said X39. And I was like, hmm. So I just went straight on there. And the very first video that came up was David Smith. He was sitting in his home office during 2020, during the lockdown, during COVID. And he was, um, and he was, he was just, it was a phenomenal because I, I loved, I'd already been a health and fitness coach for about 20, 25 years, helping people with diabetes and other health issues. And I was just blown away. I was like, how could this be that I didn't know about this? How is there something out there so phenomenal, backed up by so much research, all these patents that I couldn't know about? And I thought I knew all the things. And, um, and I was like, wow, this can help so many people. And I started, first thing I thought of a girlfriend, I thought of Dr. Stacy, and he did this for her child. And then I thought of another lady right then, I needed to tell her right away, Charity, my other girlfriend, and I needed to tell both of them right away. I said, let's research this together. So when you found out about LifeWave, another thing too is about those connections and relationships, like you were saying about leaders is, you know, in long-term relationships, find those main people that love and trust and like you right out of the gate because you can call them and say, listen, be be total ignorance on fire and just say, I don't know about this, but I'm sitting here watching these videos and this man, I'm blown away. I love his heart. I love the fact that he was a Christian. I love the fact that he was making so many references to Bible verses, which meant, meant a lot to me, that it was checking off a whole lot of boxes in just a few videos as I sat there and sit up that morning to like two or three o'clock in the morning watching all the different videos. I watched the first one on um, X39, of course. Then I turned over the next one that she gave me. This said Eon. So I watched several videos on that one. Then I turned over the next one and it was about Alavita. So I wa- and I was, I was, oh, I was so excited. I just could hardly contain myself because it was, because it was everything that I was looking for that I didn't know I was looking for because it was backed up because I wanted a company that would have longevity that was backed up by so much research and patents and clinical studies. It had all the things. It was everything was there. It was affordable. 
it didn't have to be sold through a practitioner's office. You didn't have to have a prescription for this. And it was, it was really, it was just everything. It was just a perfect company, the right timing for me. And even from that first night, when I woke up the next morning, I dreamed better. I dreamed deeper. I, I slept better. My ears were popping. I knew something was happening in my brain. And I was just praying that this was the answer to what I was been looking for after I had struggled for all these health issues for all these years, what I thought it was all these things. And I was like, the next day I was out working in the yard and then the next day I felt even better. And then a week later, I'd already told my two main two of my girlfriends and we were doing more research, sending videos back and forth to each other. And at this time, we still did not know this was MLM. We didn't know it was a network marketing company. We were just so intrigued by the science, the technology, the different patches, what they're doing for people and the testimonials. And then after that point, after I said we read the biggest gift of all, then we discovered that it was actually, I said, you know, Stacy said, is this network marketing? I said, I don't know. <laughs> we didn't. We had no idea. So that was the biggest gift of all to find out that this is something we can be rewarded when we share it with others. And um, like LifeWave says, a thank you gift, share it with someone and have this patch that can transform someone's life, whether it's for their health or whether it's for their, you know, a financial, whatever the reason may be, it can change our lives in so many ways. And I'm ever so grateful that, um, that our friends shared it with me. And that's what this is all about. It's just not knowing everything, but knowing that you may have something that can help someone else and sharing it. You know, that's what I do each and every day. It's just all day long. We're just sharing. That's all. We're, this is not hard. It's the easiest thing I've ever done and the most rewarding thing I've ever done all at the same time. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that. And, and so it, welcome. It just, there, there's, <laughs> there's so many things, so many directions to take this conversation. But but I think that, you know, you touched on something that Renita, I know you and you and I are very, very passionate about, uh, you know, which is direct selling, you know, and, and to go back to, you know, to my perspective on things, you know, I have never seen, uh, you know, an opportunity and there's, there's obviously lots of great opportunities, lots of gigs out there, lots of side hustles, you know, lots of, lots of opportunities for people to, uh, you know, improve the quality of living, uh, you know, financially, uh, you know, in addition to personal development and, and all of the other benefits, but, but direct selling and because it changed my life and I was able to to build a business over 10 years and and raise a family and and you know get them off to school and, and be there and be present and yet have you know an incredible lifestyle uh and travel the world and, and everything that that decade uh, of life meant uh, to my family and to my friends and to the thousands of women in my organization people uh as well but but predominantly a, you know a woman-based uh, direct selling company um and, and so for you Renita you know I know your value one of your core values one of your drivers is is that connection with people and you do it so beautifully so extremely well um and but i always loved your you know your outlook on how direct selling can really provide an opportunity that's like no other no other in the world um can can give people the opportunity to to really grow and achieve dreams that they haven't even dared to dream any time in their life um so would love to hear you kind of expand on that and what we have to offer here in this time of, of again, the, the gig and the side hustle. Uh, why is direct selling really the ultimate gig? Well, I just want to start by saying having the right circle of women around you is the biggest life upgrade. So just even listening to you ladies today, upgrade. <laughs> I'm like, I love it. So thank you so much for your contribution and all that you're saying, because I'm just taking it to heart. Um, you know, we love network marketing. Of course, I've been a health coach for 25 years, but we didn't start in the network marketing realm. My husband and I are actually still traditional business owners, but we started out owning, I owned a gym and I trained clients from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I was a workaholic, slaving away. And what happened was we actually had our second son and um, my aerobic instructor that was supposed to teach the next morning didn't show up for class to teach. And so it was the day after I had my baby. So what did I find myself doing? Going to my gym to teach the class myself the day after I gave birth, right? And my husband at that point said, hey, Renita, you know, we got to look at other ways for you to create income because like, listen, you just had a baby, <laughs> right? And, uh, and so in that moment, I had never even considered network marketing. I, I didn't know anything about it. Um, my, my experience with network marketing um, was when I was a little girl, there was a gal who sold 
uh, I don't even remember what it was called anymore. It was not Amway, but it was some company. Um, Watkins, Watkins. It was Watkins. Oh my gosh. Watkins. Wow. Yeah. There that's was a, a girl that sold, past. yeah, that's a blast from the past. She sold Watkins and she drove up to our house and she was always, you know, laying on the horn because we lived on a farm and she was scared of the dog. And, um, and so that was my like idea of network marketing. How funny is that? And so when I was told like by Scott, my husband, he's a financial planner. So he said, I really think you should look at network marketing. And I was thinking, what is network marketing? Does that mean I have to go to people's houses and like beep the horn until they come out? Like what's going on here? Like I didn't have a good, uh, uh, you know, like my thought pattern was incorrect about network marketing. And so once you know what, we were introduced to a phenomenal product back then. And as soon as we put our toe in the water, we became, it was incredible. The life transformation that took place, Meredith. I mean, we went from, I went from working 60, 70 hours a week to a fraction of the time, just like you said, Nikki, being able to work from home, nurse my baby while I was on the phone, which was a big deal because it was hard to nurse the baby jumping on a trampoline. Uh, And so like all of these incredible things happened um, when we began network marketing. I mean, we became highly tax efficient for those of you that are just getting started. And if you're a W-2 paid employee, this is an incredible, incredible way to become uh, a, just more knowledgeable and more uh, self-sufficient, I think, financially and, and become much more wise about the tax system, right? Because you can use your phone, you can use a portion of, of your mileage and things like that if your intent is to share your product, which, I mean, I take patches with me to the gym. This morning, I'm patching uh, an elderly guy at the gym who's had back pain for 40 years, you know? And so for us, everywhere I go, I mean, this is such an easy business. I agree with all of you women. Like, I feel like women have always been the seed bearers, right? We bear children and we bring forth life. And so the fact that we can just get out there and and share this just really authentically because we care. You know what I mean? I always tell my team, share if you care, because I believe sharing is caring. Mm-hmm. And someone shared enough with me initially at my first and um, the first time we even looked at network marketing, they cared enough to tell me something that I had never heard of. It was really abnormal to me. It t- there was a learning curve, definitely. I remember the very first book I read about network marketing. It was a book by Robert Kiyosaki, and it was called Business School. But underneath it, the, the subheading was the business for people who like to help people. Um. And I was like, dig, 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 that's me. Like, I love helping people. I love it. And so I think I read that book, Meredith, five times because I needed a good old brainwashing from you know, all the the way I had learned about network marketing from that, you know, Watkins days, um, back to like the reality of how incredible this financial opportunity is. It really is the business for people who like to help people. So, I mean, if that's women, if that's men, I mean, all of them, I mean, I know so many people that just love to serve and bless others. And so that that's what this business is about. It's just awesome. You can take it to the moon if you have a servant's heart. If you don't put more patches on until your mind gets a little shifting and <laughs> very, very good. No, and, and it is and it is how many people get to actually have a business or or work in an environment where they can just pass it on and, and it benefits everybody. And that ripple effect takes place. And and I think that that makes us really proud. You know, it makes us proud to be direct sellers. And even though, you know, of course there are critics, you know, but there are there are good and bad players in every industry, in every profession. You know, there are people who do it the right way and people do it the wrong way. Uh, and that's another thing that attracted me to Lifeway because I've again I've been watching and I'm a student, uh, you know, of this profession. And so somebody that watches it all the time. And when you see companies that rise like the cream to the surface, that are doing things the right way with high integrity, uh, you know, it, it shines, it shines like a, like a beacon. And, and I know for you, Robin, you know, being in this profession for so many years and, and uh, being such a, an incredible leader, uh, you have probably a lot of proud moments uh, in your career. Um, but why don't you just share with us, you know, maybe a couple of then maybe just one very special one uh, for for us to enjoy. One of my thank you, thank you, and uh, that was so wonderful, Renita. Thank you, <laughs> I loved it. Um, I had a friend who was on my dream team list, and I couldn't find her. When I finally found her, and I introduced the products, this was another company, but this is a cherished moment. And she said, "I'm interested in the products. I'm not interested in the business." And this is one of those examples where I had to 
slow down and be there for what she wanted, not what I wanted. <laughs> as as a coach, you know, you know, different. It's like we see people's potential, but we have to do what they want. So she had amazing results. She couldn't help it, and she started sharing. And one thing led to another. And she was a single mom with three boys, worked three jobs, never made more than a few thousand dollars a month. And, you know, I had to take her lead. She goes, oh, and I was training her in the back office. No, I'm full enough. So I had to pull back yet again. And one thing led to another. And one day she said, I'm finally ready to bring on a business builder. And so she did. And I just kept coaching her at her speed. And there I was sitting in the audience, watching her up on stage with a ribbon across her chest and 18 long stem roses. And I sat there and that was, you know, to me, you know, when someone's life can dramatically change. And so that is one of my most proud moments. It's very Meredith, nice. I would, I always say to my team, walk with the walkers, jog with the joggers, run with the runners. And sometimes Robin, like you just said, sometimes just sit with the spectators. Like they're not ready for it quite yet. They're just watching everything, you know, unfold and they're waiting for to see results. And who knows when they have them, like you said. So I think it's just working with people at the, the place that they're at and the pace that they're at, right? It was oh, yeah. truly a test for me because I wanted to take her so much. I saw her potential. I knew who she was. I knew where she could go, but she wasn't ready. So I had to honor where she was at and take the baby steps with her. And it turned out magnificently. Yeah. Well, and, and that's a beautiful story, a beautiful sentiment, you know, to our profession. Uh, I think, Robin, you know, one of the things that it also highlights is the importance of belief because, you know, we we can't speed up people. Uh, you know, we, we can't tell tell them, oh, you, you you need to you need to sprint, you know, stop stop jogging because people's belief levels um, are, are very, very different. And sometimes it just takes time. And we're all, you know, we're all super different in individuals on how quickly we make decisions. And sometimes it takes an epiphany. Sometimes it takes a, a realization or maybe just somebody else, you know, leading the way. Um, and, and so Nikki, you know, you, you talk, uh, talked a lot, you know, in our earlier conversation about the power of that belief. And, and I know that everybody that's listening right now on this broadcast has heard, you know, some variation of the belief system, but why it's important and why it's important is because it, it, it moves us, it motivates us, it inspires us to commit and to begin to take it from a from a walk to a to a jog to a sprint. Um, mm -hmm. And, and uh, so whether we're talking about belief in the company or the leadership or the products or the compensation direct selling or in self, uh, you know, we know there's it's super critical that we find ways to build that up. And again, on that individual basis, one to one uh, on what that person needs. So so Nikki, what what, what do you want to add, uh, you know, to the group here about your belief in belief. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, just like I mentioned, the belief that we have, I think the most important thing is believe in yourself first. I think mean, that is so important. You need to believe that you can make a difference in people's life. Um, to me, that is very powerful. Every day, and that's what we all do is to make a difference in people's life, either in their health or in their, in their finance. And for us to recognize the the potentials of of of, a, of a, a member, you know, I have members that come in and just just wouldn't wouldn't do any presentations, but I believe in them. I mean, I was there, coached them. Uh, I have one particular team members. She is now doing live um, every week, every Friday. She's you know she started out with Friday night live, and then now she's going to the morning, and she's going on Facebook live. Um, at the very beginning, she didn't have that belief that she can do it, but it's the coaching, is the guiding her to, hey, you can do this. Okay, maybe a little trick here, maybe a little bit trick there, maybe say this, maybe say that. So now she is just completely on her own, and that just brings me joy, a joy that I can make a difference in, in someone's life because I believe in them. But first, I believe in myself that I can do that so that I can believe in others, and I think that is very important. 
Very nice, nicely said. And and you know, I think that that those beliefs that that we you know, we identify, you know, where, where are the areas that we might need to coach? We might need to educate, provide them some resources, point them in the right direction to learn, Absolutely. Uh, encourage them to listen to a testimonial, um, you know, but it is that, that individual approach that I think, because we're all so different. And of course, once we build that belief, it comes to that next critical step, uh, is trust. And, and we've talked a little bit about that today uh, with the importance of building that, that safe, you know, that safe zone um, mm-hmm. so that people can can feel comfortable to explore and to grow. And April, I know that, that you have a lot to say on this, this topic that's important to you. Um, so, so what would you share? I would share that you're right about that. I feel like when someone joins, then the most important thing is to let them know we have a team. We have an amazing company that's behind us that LifeWave is here. We've got the customer service. We've got our VIP support. We have so much support. So, you know, we are in business for, we're an independent distributors, but we're not in business by ourselves. That's what I love because um, connect with your team. I would, you know, a new brand partner. One thing I would just tell, you know, who signed you up, but find out who's above that because there's a leader up above you somewhere that wants to pour into you, that wants to help you. So seek out the leader. There's a, you know, connect with them on their, on their channels, whether it's Telegram or Facebook, because you want to build the trust So because there is someone that wants to help you because there's so much love in this company. And there's um, many people that have been here for a long time. And, um, I feel like with the life wave, um, the life of health channel, there's so much to learn there where you can develop your belief and trust in the company because there's lots of things. There's longevity here. That's one thing I love about this. We have 20 years of um, so much. There's so much for everyone. We didn't just start this a year ago. This is lots and lots of research and um, lots of leaders that have been here that have carved the path, lots of tools for us to use. Many, many things that are um, that shouldn't leave anyone feeling like they don't have something to plug into. I love the fact that we do two times a month. You know, we have the LifeWave Connects. We've got the one with David does the monthly training. That's powerful. Those are all recorded. So that you're building the trust. You're getting to see our owner, our inventor, our scientist. You're getting to see his face and connect with his heart and see that his, his passion is so deep. We see that every month. And to me, those are powerful. I never miss those. And I always encourage my team to be on those trainings and um, listen to the recordings. Take notes because David shares so much. And then we also have the other time of the month when our brand partners, the new people can plug into the LifeWay business training, you know, the connect there as well. So twice a month, the company's reaching out to us. And I'm sure, Meredith, you're going to bring more things to the table. You're going to bring more things for us as you bring all the, you know, all the tools that you've learned over all these years. But I, that's one thing I want our, our brand partners to develop trust, know that we're here for them. We're the field. You're the company and that we work together and we, um, that's why I want them to see that that is a safe place for everyone to connect because life wave has, um, we're just, we're just getting going. Even though we're 20 years old, we've got such a bright, bright future. Thank you. Boy, <laughs> I wish we had, I, the time went so quick and we're kind of, we're, we're kind of coming, coming up on the hour here. Um, but, but before we, before we, you know, wrap up, I, I'm of course going to each ask each of you to share uh, one piece of advice to the newest brand partner uh, that, that's listening to us uh, today or on replay. Um, <clears throat> but before we go there, one more, just, just one more, it's the future. And, and I, I think that this is so important because, you know, we, what we've learned today is, is the importance of investing investing in each other, investing in self, uh, growing, developing, building, sharing, caring, um, and, you know, for the future that we have ahead of us, this bright future uh, for for all the years that lie ahead and here at LifeWave too. Uh, It's like we're just getting started and yet we have 20 years of proven success behind us. Uh, and it's just going to be the wind beneath our wings to, to, to fly to even greater heights. And so, but the future of direct selling, uh, just Renee, I would love to just have you kind of close out the conversation before we go to the tips. Uh, and just, you know, what, what do you have to say to the listeners about the future, the future here at LifeWave and the future as a professional uh, sharer and carer, we'll put it that way. Yeah. You know, we are so fired up over here just because let's be honest, the last three years changed everything, right? I mean, I've been part of network marketing for 15, but the last three has been a drastically different environment. And people that weren't working from home are now working from home. People that never knew how to do a Zoom meeting are doing them every day, right? I mean, companies like Nike are launching affiliate programs, right? So you have all of these major big uh, powerhouses that are realizing that, uh, 
network marketing or relationship marketing is really the way of the future. It is the freedom business. As far as I'm concerned, I know so many people. I know so many business owners. I was just visiting with one yesterday who owns multiple franchises in North Dakota. He was telling me that he spent a million dollars for the franchise. Um, he spent about a half a million for the build out. Last year, his business was a loss. He's hoping he can turn it around and maybe make $400,000 when he sells his business. I'm thinking, what a loss. <laughs> Plus dealing with like, you know, employees that, you know, may or may not show up type deal, right? And so I've dealt with that in my own businesses. And so, you know, here we get to work with who wants to work. We get to work with people that if they want to do it, they're going to do it. And we link arms with them, right? So there's no nagging, begging, or dragging. There's no talking them into it. You know, I'm simply looking for people that are looking for opportunity. And I mean, that's the business side of it. I feel like the network marketing is the real freedom model. You think about everything that we purchase in the marketplace when we go into these stores and how many chains of different uh, levels that it had to go through to get to that sporting goods store. And then we purchase it with our money, right? And, and usually it's overpriced. <laughs> Let's just say it. Mm -hmm. But we purchase it, right? And in this model, we don't, I mean, literally it's the company and us. The marketing budget is us. It's not allotted, allotted to a television commercial or a, a magazine ad. The marketing budget is all of that budget is us out there sharing and caring with this message, you know? So I feel like from a business standpoint, it is the freedom model. You know, I get to work from home. I get to work around my children. We get to homeschool our children. I get to go when, wherever I want in the world and I can work my business from my phone or my laptop. I mean, it is the freedom model. And everywhere you go, there's people. And they all need the product. So it makes it really easy, right? I went to Cancun a couple of weeks ago and we signed up five people in Cancun. I mean, it was incredible. Like I said to Scott, we should probably vacation every week, you know, but then there's the health side of it because, you know, I'm a health coach, right? And so I feel like for years, um, the health industry, I, I always tell people I'm not a medical expert. I'm never going to give you medical advice, but I am a health expert. And I have been in the trenches for 25 years. And to witness what I've seen happen with the openness for people who want to change in the last three years is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Like it's it, it's phenomenal. Like the pendulum has swung from this real medical minded thing to how can I take control naturally? What can I do that's non-invasive? What can I do that's affordable? That's not gonna put me in medical bankruptcy, right? What can I do that's going to help uh, my entire family to be well? You know, I've got my... All of my boys are involved in our business and my 23 year old today, he's out there sharing with the demographic that I'm not even talking to. I mean, he's talking to 20 year olds, 22 year olds and these college athletes, my my oldest is, an, they're all incredible athletes, all of them, but my oldest is a division one athlete. And if there's an injury in the training room, they just tell these kids 1600 milligrams of ibuprofen. That's standard of protocol. Just like, just because it's standard of protocol doesn't make it correct. Because I know what ibuprofen does to the gut lining long term, at least to leaky gut. And so my son now has witnessed that, and he's going back. I'm so proud of him. And he's talking to all these athletes, female athletes. He just—I had a female athlete join the team. She's 22 years old, and she can't get enough of this. She's like, I went to school for business. I'm learning more about business, being part of Lifeway. You know what I mean? And so. It's not just a person that's in their 50s, 60s, 70s. I mean, we have a young generation, you guys, that are coming into this model. Stay-at-home moms that want to nurse their babies while they're making phone calls, just like I, that was me, right? And so I feel like it's the business model is really for anybody. And we know the health is for everybody, right? Because everybody needs what these patches can offer to the families. And because we have the best product with the only technology, like with what you said, 86 patents or 86 studies. David said the other day, we're up to 86 studies and 132 patents. And I don't know another technology that has that level of science. And now my son is coming in and my body looks all funny here, right? Uh, so I apologize for that. But yeah, it's, um, I always say, get in the light. This is the light business. We're light beings. And so uh, we all should step into the light, literally, and, and just be light workers and get out there and serve and bless people if it's the health they want or if it's the wealth they want or if it's both. Let's get them going. Get them going. Excellent. All right. Quick, quick round, Robin. Um, and I'm going to start with Robin. One piece of advice that you would give to the newest brand partner. Go. Okay. First and foremost, it's a relationship business. Get to know the person and become a student of this business model. It's a different business model. I recommend everyone listen to Darren Hardy on YouTube called Making the Shift. 
understanding the mindset necessary to be successful. And uh, that changed my life dramatically. So, I, you know, it's we have an opportunity to really develop and, and really take a look at what lifestyle you want and you can create it. So um, there's so many more things, but it's relationships first and foremost. People want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. Nikki. Okay. Well, my advice for the new brand partner is to, number one, make up your mind. Okay. Once you make up your mind that this is the business for you, then you need to ask yourself the next questions. Do I want to do this the easy way or the difficult way? Uh, there's there's different ways to do business. There's absolutely an easy way to do the business, which is follow the system. And if you want to do it the difficult way, yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Great. And ultimately, decide, right? <laughs> Make up your mind. All right, April. Well, one, one thing would be my advice would be first is something I love from David. And it says, if you wish to be successful, first start by praying for guidance and choosing a path which allows for service to others. It is when we surrender ourselves to serving the greater good that we are empowered to achieve things that seemed impossible or out of reach before. So I think if you read that over and over and you think about everyone that starts this business, when you're when that's your goal is to um is a path to serve others. And also to carry out what David's mission is this year, it is heart to heart. And to me, that means one-on-one, working one-on-one with people. You can feel your heart energy. When you're, when you're doing, I'm doing a patch party with just a couple of people, or I'm sitting one-on-one with someone, you know, we feel that six feet away. You feel the love and you feel someone's heart and they can feel our passion for what these patches can do. And then I place the patch on them and I just want to bless them. I bless them as I place it on them. I want them to try the just to feel the energy of what this can do and how this can bless and change their lives. And, you know, there's nothing better than being in a business where you can wake up every day and you just say you get up every day. I stand up and I just say, you know what, who can I bless today? Who can I bless today and who can I make their life better and empower them? It's just, um, it's the best day ever. Very nice. Thank you. And Renita. Yeah, I just say make sure that your belief is high because belief is contagious. Uh, just like joy is contagious. I'm convinced that miracles are contagious at this point. <laughs> My favorite in the patching, right? But, you know, with being a National Women's uh, Month, I really think it's very important just to say this to a woman's place is wherever God is calling her to be. So if that's in leadership here, if that's just serving in your home and patching your family and a few loved ones, whatever, whatever's right for you, pray about that. And, uh, and you'll know exactly where you're supposed to be. So God bless all of you. I think anybody can do this business. Anybody can do the business and everyone needs the patches. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you, lovely panelists. Thank you for your wisdom and your in your friendship. And thank you for your hearts, most of all. And to everyone else, happy, happy Women's History Month. And let's make some life wave history. All right, all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.